I came here to save you. The fortress is taken. It is over. Do not cite the deep magic to me, witch. I was there when it was written. You're my only hope. We shall fight on the beaches. There will be days when we lose faith. We band of brothers. But take heart. Look around. You're not in this fight alone. I bid you stand! Men of the West! Hello, everybody. This is Caleb from King's Advisors, and I'm going to try to do something a little different tonight. I am actually busy working, but I got in a conversation um, on a Discord group earlier this morning about Star Wars and basically the future of Star Wars. And there's a lot of much better and other YouTubers out there that have put in their two cents about how to fix Star Wars or where the future is going and all that. And I kind of want to do the same thing. So I want to start with the glaring and obvious problem. And that's everything that we currently have is going towards the sequels. You can't deny that Mando... The future of Mando is wrapped up in the sequel trilogy. Now, why is this a problem? Well, the sequels are not good. And I don't know if it's a majority. I personally think it's a majority of people do not like the sequels. So the first thing Star Wars needs to do, Lucasfilm, Disney, whoever it is. Is it Favreau? Is it Filoni? Is it Kennedy? Is it Bob Iger? Whoever it is, this is the first thing they need to do. They need to stop dividing the fan base. Now, how do you do that? Well, it's actually rather simple. Stop blaming us. Stop doing stuff to piss us off. Stop changing dogma and canon and realigning stories so that they can simply benefit your failed trilogy. You don't have to retcon the trilogy. You don't. I'd love for you to retcon the trilogy. I'd love it. I would love for the sequel trilogy to never have existed. But you don't have to. And they're not going to. For many reasons that everyone else has said. Cost too much in the parks. Uh, they won't admit defeat. All these reasons are valid reasons. I don't personally think it would cost as much as... Uh, some people have said it would to change up the parks. Uh, and even then, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is retcon and redo and do a better job this time. But those are big things, and I kind of want to keep it small. So my first thought is, you know, after the prequels, there were a lot of people that didn't like the prequels. There were a lot of people, a lot. and. I think one of the things that really helped the prequels get this new life almost was the TV show, The Clone Wars, both of them, the 2003, I can't say his name, so I'm just going to call it the 2003, and the Dave Filoni show from Cartoon Network. They both really helped revitalize that trilogy, and one of the reasons is because one of the big complaints that a lot of people had, or at least a lot of people that I listened to or heard about was this friendship between Obi-Wan and Anakin that was supposed to exist. We never really saw it. So there were a lot of parts of Revenge of the Sith that didn't feel as deep as they should have because we didn't know how close they were. Clone Wars helped fix that. The Clone Wars also brought new life to Star Wars. Brought new uh, a new fan base. Introduced new people. It did a lot of good. And whether or not you like Dave Filoni, Dave Filoni as, uh, I don't remember if he was in charge of the Clone Wars. I know George Lucas was still in the room. So Dave Filoni as the creative or whatever did a really good job. So Dave Filoni is not the problem. There might be, you know, there might be a problem with Filoni having no one to answer to if he doesn't again i don't really know the politics of lucasfilm i don't know really know who's in charge 
behind the doors or outside the doors other than just Kathleen Kennedy being in charge of Lucasfilm beyond that. I really don't know. And I don't really care because at the end of the day, all I want is more star Wars and good star Wars. So the whole point of this video is how to fix star Wars. Okay. Well, one thing you could do is try to copy that. Give us a TV show about the rise of the first order or the resistance, a better, a much better TV show than the, thing that I don't think anybody watched called resistance or pilots or whatever it was. Again, I didn't watch it. I thought it was stupid. They did it in the animation style of that, uh, Iron Man armored adventure show. So that's one way. One way is by fixing the problems that people have with the trilogy. Now, a lot of those problems you can't fix because you killed Han. Carrie Fisher's dead. There's a lot of problems you can't fix. But there are some you can fix. You could answer the question, who's Snoke? I remember that being the big question after Force Awakens. Give us the answer and make it a good answer. Give us a good reason for Palpatine's return other than somehow he returned. Oh, another one. Apologize. Say we're sorry. They won't do it, but they could. Admit that the entire fan base didn't go after the actress that played Reva in in Kenobi or show us the receipts. Stop telling us that we're bad people because we didn't like the sequel trilogy. That's a really good way of fixing it. The way I would like to fix star Wars is I'd like to move beyond this 60 or 70 year period of this galaxy far, far away. We've got, I think it's 4,000 years worth of stories prior to the battle of Yavin. Give us that. Give us stuff. 300 years before Skywalker existed. Give us stuff 300 years after Skywalker existed. I love Luke Skywalker, but Star Wars, there's more to Star Wars than just Luke Skywalker. And you've already kind of ruined him with the sequel trilogy and him returning Grogu in Book of Boba Fett. There's too much bad blood in this period of Star Wars right now. What's a good way to fix that? Move on from it. Give us different stories. It doesn't have to be Revan. I'd love for it to be. It doesn't have to be. And this is what's crazy. They've put money into these High Republic books and aren't bringing them to even TV. So why did you write them? Was it only to introduce agendas? Was it only so you can have that those power pictures Seven years ago, when you posted photos of all these creatives around a table with all the important things they wanted included in these books and nothing to do with Star Wars was on the list until the bottom third of the page. Was that why? Do you want to say, yay, women, yay, BIPOX, yay, LGBTQI+. Why did you do it? You're not making TV shows. Where's the Geo TV show? Where's Geode in any of the kids shows? Where's Geode even as a tale that is mentioned in some TV show? Don't forget, young Padawan, there was once a Jedi entirely made out of rock. That shows how much they have no idea what they're doing. And that's what's so distressing about all this. They have no idea. If you don't know what you're doing, stop doing it. Like I said, I've enjoyed Mando. There are even parts of Kenobi and Book of Boba Fett that I thought were good. They were small and few and far between. When I saw uh, Hayden Christensen back off in that distance as that little, I don't know, mirage or whatever it was, that was a neat moment. Hayden Christensen back in Star Wars. It was later ruined, but it was cool. It was cool seeing this actor that I had always thought was just dumped on for no reason get to return to this thing that he helped build and to have star wars this thing that i love tell me that i was a bad person because i didn't like the character of reva not because the color of her skin but because of the acting job that the actress did is despicable and hateful and it hurts and to see other people be destroyed because of what this company wants to do 
is sad. There's so much potential in the expanded universe or legends as Disney wanted to call it. They don't even have to do it the exact same way. As I understand it, because I haven't read the book, apologies, but as I understand it, the Thrawn in Rebels is not the same Thrawn written in the book, but that Thrawn in Rebels was still good. It was still a good job. He was menacing, terrifying, intelligent, unpredictable. That's what we need more of. Good storytelling. And again, it does not need to be confined to the same 60 years that we've had for the last 40 years. 46. Apologies. Sorry, I went on quite a tangent there. I kind of forgot where I was going with that. How to fix Star Wars. That's what it was. So yeah. Okay, you know what? That's my point. There we are. How to fix Star Wars. The first way you could fix it is by fixing the sequel trilogy. Whichever way you choose to do it. Retcon it. Read Retcon and redo. Shore it up using a TV show. I mean, you know what? Maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're hoping that by using Mando as sort of a Trojan horse, we'll watch the sequel series TV show. And maybe they'll do a good job. Do I think they will? I don't know. It depends. I, it might, I think it depends on who's in charge. But I don't think it's a hard thing to do. In fact, I think it's rather easy. I think there's a lot for saying the fact that there have been, I think there's a lot to be said that there are a bunch of people out there who have given ideas for years on how to fix all this. And they're good ideas. There are things I would watch. There's things a lot of people would watch. In a world that Twilight fan fiction can be made into a movie and books themselves, it shouldn't be that hard to get Star Wars back on track. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. As always, like and subscribe and comment below on what you think. You know, can the ship be righted? Is there hope? Do you have hope? I'll always have hope. And follow us on Twitter at Kings Advisors underscore.